It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey and we are here today for another Troop Showcase video. Now today I thought we'd switch it up and kind of move away from those really common units and go really big. We're going all the way to the legendary little boss units. We're we're taking a look at the Destructor Mark 2. Destructor Mark 2 right here, guys. He is, well, she is, it is, whatever you want to call it. The top of the line survivor unit you can pick up for your squads today at your local world examination mark. Now, right here, we're going to take a look at the stats of the Destructor Mark II. So, hero. It is a hero unit to be specific in its type. And it is five tons of metallic justice. Captain Zeta cuts down the oncoming horde. Powerful attacks. Drone proof, ar drone -proof armor. Go forth and destroy valiantly. Just go destroy. Tear it up, guys. So let's go through the stats right here. Power 634, level 22. Deployment size, you only get one, sadly. If you got two, it'd be unfair. It would not even be fair if you got two. Uh, health, 2,232. Damage, 281. No building damage. The max range is 40. The minimum range, there's no minimum. Keep going as far as it wants and as close as it wants. Uh, healing, it's not going to be healed up. Its speed is only 7, and the cooldown is 0 0.8. Are there any more? There are. Oh my goodness. Look at all these stats. Uh, I don't know if y'all want to look at all this. Wow. Well, there's all that, if you want to look at that. I'm not going to go through all of it. But yeah, there's no perks, sadly, for the structure. That'd be pretty cool, but no perks for the structure. So those are all the basic stats, and the description for this epic hero, hero unit, the... Destructor Mark II. Now there are four what you could call evolutions or tiers to this unit. Starts off pretty low. You can see in my beginners let's play kind of what it looks like at the beginning. But just gets progressively stronger and looks a whole lot cooler. As you can see, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty beast right here. It is a monster. But enough of me talking about it because y'all don't really care about that much. I think I would want to see it in action, right? Am I right? Yeah, we need to see this bad boy in action. So, where are we going to check it out? First, I think we're going to look at, if it allows me, San Francisco. Will it let me? No. Okay, we're just going to see the closest place it'll let us attack. Okay, so, first place, plan of attack. We're going to be hitting up Mexico City on day 97 on hard. So, fight. El mundo está muerto. I have no idea what that means, but I say it every single time. It's just how I roll. Alright guys, so let's see how the Destructor holds up. Alright, so, we have one objective point, I believe. So, what we're going to be doing is putting Destructor up to the ultimate test. Destructor, two sharpshooters, and just to be nice and helpful, we're going to put out two commandos. And we're going to see how much they can hold the fort. And worst comes to worst, we're going to throw down some fire chiefs, some lumberjacks, and some machine gunners. Just pray that we can beat that level but that's where we're going to go. We're going to go only with that. And the problem is that we have a lot of what you would call delivery men or harbingers. And they blow up stuff. They like to blow up walls. And that's not good for us. So as you can see, they already blew up one of those walls. But the structure's going off. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Zoom, zoom out a little. Let's go ahead and send some of these drones here. They're going to have to get through that wall a little bit quicker. But, you know, they'll make it eventually. <laughs> So, so far, Destructor's holding down the fort. Because I just want to show you guys purely what Destructor is going to be able to do. Let's zoom in a little bit. Go ahead and send those waves if we can. Stim up. So, Destructor pretty much has a ranged little sniper attack. And it is able to go through several zombies. Actually, it's not. Okay. Move away. But it does have a great amount of health. And it does a lot of damage. And as you can see, it has that slicing motion once they get in a closer proximity. It's pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and use this small soft cocktail to help out a little bit. Take out that last drone, bang. So as you can see, it has the ranged attack where it's going to be shooting those little saw blades and also has the slicing, wiping, and dicing, whatever you want to call it, attack right there. Just a big, and it just wipes out tons of drones. It can take a lot of damage, but it's not invincible. In the past update, Destructor was pretty much the most OP unit you could have and had a 12-hour cooldown on it just because it was that good. But they kind of brought it down a little bit, and it has more energy, you could say. So you can use it a lot more than you can now. So that's pretty much the Destructor as it is there. So I think we should check it out in a little bit of a more difficult area. So we're going to head over to Buenos Aires to get another look on how it attacks. So Buenos Aires, fight. 
hard because we're feeling a little bit extra difficulty. Y'all know what's up. All right, so don't die on me, Argentina. Don't die on me, please. I always like posting some, saying those, reading those postcards out. It's my favorite thing ever. All right, so how are we going to be defending this? All right, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting Destructor right over... Hmm, where is Destructor going to go? Destructor is going to go right over here. So Destructor is going to be going here. And it's going to be accompanied by three mercenaries right behind this wall. Just going to be chilling out. Hopefully we can handle these. I'm going to throw in a sharpshooter just because we need to take out those titans. But we're just going to focus in on that area over there. And I'm going to make sure these areas are the most defended they could possibly ever really be. So I don't even have to look at them. So machine gunner, two commandos, fire chief. Move these guys over a little bit so we can get them in range. And a sharpshooter just for extra precaution. We should be pretty locked down over there. And similarly over here, we're going to be putting a machine gunner, two mercs, and fire chief and commando. So we're pretty stacked over there. Not going to be too worried about those areas. So let's go ahead and start these waves. And we're going to be checking out this area over here when it comes to wave two. So right off the bat, we have two areas coming from this side. And like I said, they're pretty well locked down. I'm not going to be too worried about it because it's only wave one. And I stacked these pads just so we could really focus on the structure on the other end. But it's only wave one, so we're going to have to wait. So let's speed this up a little bit. Let them go ahead and get going. Slow it down. Go ahead and send this wave and zoom in on the action here. So as you can see, it is using its ranged attack currently, which is a pretty decent... It really causes a lot of damage to these drones. Now, when it really gets, in fact, like effective is when they get up close and personal. That's what I like to see them. So I can see they're slowly gaining more and more ground. Let's go ahead and bring them up a little bit closer. Get a little bit more close and personal with these zombies here. So really where all the power is. It is causing some decent damage to that Titan. So that can really show you how much power it truly has. But right here, when it has that slicing attack right there, that's where it's showing a lot of action. That's where it's completely dominating. So it do does have some trouble against the Colossus. Not going to lie. It's not the best because the Colossus has an unreal amount of health. So it can be very troublesome when you're trying to take it out. But Destructor handled that very well. And let's go ahead and check out the area over here. Just got to finish off a couple more drones. Let me go ahead and throw this Mazdaf cocktail over on this pad to pretty much take out whatever drones try to get through. They're all on fire. Boom. 492 trophies plus the time bonus. What are we going to get, folks? 124 trophies. That's what I like to see, guys. So that's pretty much the troop analysis slash troop showcase for the Destructor Mark II. Let me continue this. And I think we should spend the last couple seconds critiquing how beautiful the art is of the Destructor. They have great use of the saw blades. They really show the wear and tear on Destructor. It's not just a new shiny toy. It's been it's been in war. It's been it's gone through some tough stuff. Captain Zay is in there just holding down the fort, controlling Destructor like nobody's business. And it's just looking really good. I uh, love the way it's designed. Let me see if I can get a better look at it through right here. It's got some pretty sick stuff going on, guys. I hope you enjoyed this troop showcase. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it again. And I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.